Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Julie, and today I'm going to be showing you all of my favorite products for the month of March. Now, a few of these I discovered in the month of March, and some of them I re-fell in love with in the month of March, or some of them I just was like, you know what, used this all month, loved it, let's put it in there. So the first product that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I used to use this years ago, and then I tried out some different concealers, and ended up finding Tarte Shape Tape, which is my favorite concealer of all time, so I haven't really gone back to it, but just recently I decided to purchase this again, and the reason for that is that I've been getting a lot of breakouts. So I've been just using this and, you know, dotting it on my forehead, on my breakouts there, dotting it on my cheek, my nose, and then really lightly going over it with my beauty sponge, and just kind of letting the product really cover whatever blemish I'm trying to cover and then blending out around it um, so that it blends into the skin and I have loved it. It does get a little creasy under the eyes for me, but I don't use it under the eyes anymore. I just use this as a spot concealer and I think it provides beautiful coverage, but it also looks really nice on the skin. Going along in that same type of skin theme, the second thing I want to bring up is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. I've definitely been using this primer more than anything all month long. I love it because it really blurs out my pores really, really well, but it doesn't feel slippery. Sometimes with pore filling primers, when I apply them, I feel like all of my makeup just slides right over my pores, which is great, except for that I also feel like it'll wipe off just as easily. This one doesn't do that. This one covers, fills in the pores, smooths over the skin, but it doesn't make my face slippery and slick. I got this in a boxy charm, tried it out. I don't even remember what month I got this. But I tried it out and I've been using it consistently now. It's really, really beautiful underneath any foundation I put it under. It's worked. I'm a huge fan of this. Okay, so I wish I had a better packaging for um, this next product. It's very beat up looking, but this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm definitely gonna need to repurchase this. I've pretty much gotten as much use as I can out of it. It's affordable, it goes on really beautifully. I like the kind of thinner formula. I wasn't even going to mention a mascara in this video because I've tried several new mascaras this month and none of them wowed me. I wasn't really excited about any of them, but I kept finding that I would go back to this every time, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna put that in my favorites video because even though it's not a new product for me, um, it is one that has kind of topped every other mascara I've tried this month, so I'm gonna include it for this month's favorites. The next product that I'm going to mention, I actually had in a haul earlier this month. It's the Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge. As you can see, mine's dirty, but it's a really cool marbly looking sponge that has kind of a flat bottom, but then it's pointy. So this side I just use to blend everything out. This side I can get, you know, more precise for my concealer. I really like this a lot. It's a lot bigger. So when it's damp, it's actually really large and it makes the makeup application go by a lot faster because of that. The only thing about this that has been a little difficult to get used to is washing it. Because it's a more dense sponge and because it is bigger, it takes a lot longer for me to wash this. They are two for $10, which I think is a fantastic price. And I will definitely be repurchasing this alongside my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge that I absolutely love as well. Another product that I've come back to again after not using it for quite a while, probably a couple of years even, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is a micro, teeny tiny brow pencil. Basically all of the brow pencils that you see that are super thin and precise are based off of this one, at least I'm pretty sure they are. It has a spoolie on one end, I really like the spoolie, and then it has a really, really thin, thin pencil on the other end. It's retractable. It's what I'm wearing on my eyebrows today. I find that they it just looks more natural to me. It's definitely more pricey as far as brow product goes, but it's beautiful. I really, really love this one. Something new that I tried out this month is a liquid lipstick by Dose of Colors. This is Lazy Daisy. 
It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this. Gorgeous. It pretty much goes with everything. Every makeup look that I do, I feel like I can pair with this. Dose of Colors is by far my favorite liquid lipstick formula. By far. There's nothing for me that compares to it. I want every single color that they have. I, I just love it. They sell it at Ulta now, which is pretty cool because I can go there, I can swatch them on myself and see what colors I actually want to try out next. I do actually intend on purchasing every single color they have, but they are $18 a piece, which means it's going to take me quite a while to be able to afford all of those. They come in such pretty packaging. I really like how this looks. I like the size of it. And let me just swatch it for you. This one is just a really beautiful, deeper nude color, and I really, really like it. I feel like it goes with everything. Okay, so this is my last makeup item, and then I have some other things, but these are the Ardell Magnetic Lashes. These are the Double Wispies. As you can see, they aren't in here, because they're right here. I'm wearing these right now, and I love them. I love them so much. I also tried out the Demi Wispies, and I wasn't as big of a fan of those, as, although I will continue to wear them, but these ones just, they did it for me. I actually bought these because my eyes were really irritated from wearing false lashes too many days in a row. And a friend of mine texted and said, um, you're allergic to latex, so you need to change the eyelash glue that you're wearing. So I actually stopped using my eyelash glue as soon as she said that and um, ran to the store, got some latex-free glue that I'm testing out right now. But in the meantime, I started wearing these ones and it really helps the irritation go away because these actually cling onto your actual eyelashes instead of onto your skin. I feel like these lashes are really versatile. I can wear them when I'm gonna wear more glamorous makeup, something that's like a full face look, even with you know dramatic winged eyeliner, or I can wear them on a day that I'm not gonna wear a lot of makeup. I actually just recently posted a video this week on how I apply these, so you can go check that out as well. Okay, so the next product is kind of funny because it's a shaving cream and it's actually a shaving cream for men. This is the Cremo or Cremo, I don't actually know how to pronounce that, Original Shave Cream and it says, impossibly slick formula dramatically reduces nicks and razor irritation and let me tell you, it really, really does. I absolutely love this, couldn't recommend it more highly. You don't need to use a lot, you just and it smells amazing, but you just use a tiny bit, rub it in, lather it up, and just smooth it over your skin, and your razor is going to glide right over without any trouble. This is so, so good. Couldn't recommend it more. I just randomly stumbled upon it when I was buying a razor. So glad I tried it out. All right, we're down to the last two. This next product is the Blistex Conditioning Lip Serum. My lips have been incredibly dry lately, super, super dry. They even feel a little bit sunburnt sometimes, especially my upper lip. It will get super red and irritated and just shriveled up and dry and chapped and it's painful. So I decided to give this a try and just wear it at nighttime. It comes with a little pump and I just do one full pump at nighttime and I smooth it over all over my lips, even kind of the skin around my lips. And in the morning, I can still feel that it's there, but it really soaks in and moisturizes everything. And my lips are plumper in the morning. They're more hydrated and my irritation from the dryness is completely gone. Really, really like this. If you struggle with dry lips, I would give this one a try. And my last thing that I wanted to mention, my last favorite of the month is Movie Pass. I don't know if you've heard about Movie Pass, but it's pretty amazing. Me and my husband go on dates every single Monday. One of our biggest go-to dates is actually going to the movies and then going out to eat somewhere. So because we go to the movies so much, one of our friends told us about Movie Pass. So what it is, you can get the app on your phone and then they send you a card in the mail. And basically you have to go to the movies and check in and it loads the card for you and it'll pay for the movie. It's about $10 a month. You can go to one movie per day with this card. It's almost like unreal. It sounds too good to be true, but let me tell you, it's true. Anyway, that is everything. Those are all of the products and things that I was liking for the month of March, my top picks.
If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, click the notification bell to know whenever I post a new video, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.